The I squared C bus has gained longevity because of its simplicity. And it's been able to adapt as technology has changed. So although we started off in a very narrow application, today it's diverse. We go all the way from smartphones and other personal electronics up to very large computer installations, server farms, disk arrays, and those types of equipment. NXP sets itself apart because of the history we have with I2C. Because most microcontroller pretty much now has an I2C port or multiple I2C ports, uh, if you need to add some additional devices. It's very easy to add the I2C devices, write your code in your microcontroller, and uh, provide that, that functionality that's needed on whatever you're building. GPIO are very, very simple devices that just use the I2C, the clock and data line, to come in to control the pins. They're either selected as inputs or outputs, or we have some quasi-bidirectional GPIO or it's both at the same time. They're kind of special devices. NXP has a new family of devices called Agile I.O. GPIOs, which integrate a lot of external logic into the internal functionality of the part. The Agile I.O. devices integrate a latching function, which eliminates external logic and increases flexibility. Along with that, there are a number of features that make the interrupt function much more flexible allows easy interface to the control processor. NXP has a broad range of temperature sensors spanning all the way from industry standard parts to expanded functionality on those industry standard parts. We have different size packages, we have different accuracy. Typically the temperature range is minus 55 to 125 degrees. We have some temp sensors where there's a local temp sensor within the device and then we also have a remote uh, diode for longer distances. FastMode Plus is a way to get more payload or throughput through the bus and it operates by increasing the bus clock speed. And we made conservative incremental adjustments to the clock speed over the life of the bus. And for want of a better name, we called it fast mode. You know what's coming, we wanted to go even faster, so we came up with fast mode plus where we can reach a speed of one megabits per second. The bus buffer is an important component of the I2C bus and its principal application is to expand an existing bus so that it can do more. Over the life of the bus, we've made some improvements. We've increased the bus speed, we've published several versions of the bus spec, and we're pushing the frontier. We have customers who would like to go a little faster than we did yesterday, so we're working on faster buses. We're also looking at parts that consume less power. We live in a world where lots of things operate from batteries. Battery power consumption is critical, low power devices are highly desirable. I expect to see I2C continue to be used for the next 30 years because there is really nothing in the market right now that's as simple as to, as to use as I2C and is low cost and is currently being used with all the different chips with the I2C interface that they can pick from in order to, uh, to use it in their application. The challenge here is that because the product I2C is used in such a variety of places, we have to have a really broad offering of product to make everyone happy. So we have what we call a catalog very large number of parts and they all are slightly different from each other and so a customer can dip into our catalog mix and match and know that they're buying them from the same vendor. We're really the market leader for GPIOs, the uh, bus buffers and MUX switches and bus controllers, the things that help control the architecture of the I2C device and the very simple general purpose devices, wide selection of them, a lot of tools to help you design it in and the technical support. So please visit us at nxp.com interface for additional information.